as i speak to you now guys another update has come in i mean the uk is shaking we don't know what's going to happen another breaking news that has made me to run into my car hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're joining me for the very first time my name is Fadjira. i'm so happy to have you all in our beautiful family if you, if you watched my previous video this morning i uploaded a video that the uk home secretary soela has resigned and due to the fact that it, she sent an official email through her personal email i was just editing another update and as i speak to you now guys another update has come in i mean the uk is shaking we don't know what's going to happen another breaking news that has made me to run into my car to let you guys know what is happening that Liz Truss has search let me just even read it from here this came in just on 10 minutes ago which was i think a, a few minutes to 2 p.m on the 28th of october Liz Truss resigns as prime minister with successor to be chosen within a week and you know there has been speculations about Liz Truss that she was not going to last till december but i didn't want to like i i didn't really believe it but the way the thing is going now I can really really see that a lot of things is going on in the UK politics and bear in mind that Boris Johnson was there even when he announced his resignation it took him like two three months after before he officially handed over to Liz Truss but now Liz Truss I'm just going to read exactly the way the message came to my phone it says Liz Truss resigns as prime minister with successor to be chosen within a week Liz Truss said she had spoken to the king and was resigning from office. And like you know, Soela has resigned yesterday, the 19th of October. And today, the 20th of October, Liz Truss has said she's resigning as a prime minister. So Liz Truss announced after just 44 days, Soela was 43 days in the office. Liz Truss announced after just 44 days in number 10 that she was quitting. Becoming Britain's shortest ever serving prime minister. Remember, Soela is the shortest ever serving home secretary. And now Liz Truss, after 44 days in the office, she has announced that she's resigning from her position. And like they say, a successor will take over within a week. Speaking in Downing Street shortly after 1.30 p.m., she told the nation that she was resigning after an open revolt by Tory MPs against her chaotic and chaotic and crisis hit premiership. On an unprecedented day in British politics, Ms. Truss said, given the situation, I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. So she has confirmed that she cannot deliver the mandate which she was being given by the Conservative Party. I uploaded a, a shot about the mistake she was talking about just three days ago and I sensed that something was going to go wrong, but I wasn't so sure, not until I saw uh, Soela and next thing, her own resignation is coming in now so i have therefore spoken to his majesty the king to notify him that i am resigning as leader of the conservative party this morning i met the chairman of the 1922 committee sir graham brady we've agreed that there will be a leadership election to be completed within the next week so she already has a successor that way take over within the next week this will ensure that we remain on a path to deliver our future plans and maintain our country's economy stability and national security i will remain as prime minister until a successor has been chosen so a successor will be chosen within one week from what they have said she announced she was going after holding talks with sir graham brady chairman of the influential 1992 committee of conservative mps and her closest allies so guys as you can see that the uk is really hot at this time apart from soela giving us her own shock yesterday on the 19th of october today the 20th Liz Truss has given us her own. So let me just reach for that. Conservatives now face a race to choose a new leader. More than 15 MPs had by 1.15 p.m. publicly called on Miss Truss to quit. So this is not like she really wanted to quit. They want her to quit so that they can still maintain their mandates. They can still maintain all the promises they have said they are going to deliver to the country and also still keep 
their positions so miss trust decision to stand down means she becomes the shortest serving prime minister in british history the unwanted record was previously held by george carney who served for four months before his death in 1827 so after george carney the next shortest serving prime minister is Liz Truss. and you know guys we were so happy when she came in i also filmed a video that time that we've got a new prime minister and she has made a lot of promises and we hope she was going to keep the promises but obviously uk is a place that if things are not working they will pull you they will drag you until you finally step down which is what is happening now so ole on wednesday was a saying that she was a fighter not a quitter it's like like we all know a lot of changes are going on in the uk and like i said I may just go in now and next thing I'm getting another update. So just to let you guys know that Liz Truss is resigning as a prime minister and her successor will be chosen within one week. So now the question we need to be asking is that what is the way forward? Can we always advise guys? A lot of things, recession, like bad economy everything is crashing in the uk but that shouldn't stop you from planning to come to the uk if you have been planning and thinking of relocating to the uk guys this is when to put in more effort start the process if you're already on the process put in more effort to make sure that you get to the end of the process i'm not saying uk is the all and all or is the best place for you to be but i know that a lot of you really want to migrate to the uk especially a lot of my viewers but just to let you guys know that Liz Truss is finally resigning as a prime minister and she only served for 44 days and so ella served for 43 days so just one day different so we don't know what next is going to happen we should just always be positive and just hope for the best like she has said that she's not going to leave the position until the new successor comes in for her to hand over to the person but at the same time uh i think it's a time for us to also think as well to like to figure out what is really really happening in uk politics and like we know whatever happens in uk politics will also be extended somehow to immigration just like the news about dependents they trying to put a cap on the number of dependents you can come with to the uk and all of that as for that news no conclusion has been made at the moment so let's just still keep believing that the new mps the new prime minister the new whoever that will come me will think of how they will make that particular one in a way that it will not affect a lot of people who are already in the process of coming to the uk especially this season so guys that is the update so uk is on fire <laughs> uk politics and and uh, everything in uk is on fire honestly so i don't know just go and think if it's still the same country you want to migrate to a lot of things are going on but you know one thing i really like about uk you can't do nonsense as a politician you cannot because everybody's eyes is on you and uk is a place that even people that are not even like people that are not really wealthy everybody has a voice everybody can talk it's not like some countries that you cannot talk if you talk you're in trouble uk is not like that so that is why you are seeing all of this to me i think anything that is not working should be put to an end and anything that is working should be put in place that's me and that's i think that's exactly what they are doing which I don't really know. Let's see. We don't know if the next prime minister will come in and the next thing he will say he's going or she's going. So let's just uh, keep praying for the best and that's all. So guys, this is the latest and the breaking news in town. The breaking news, I got this news like 10 minutes ago and I thought I should come and share with you guys so you know what is happening. The one I uploaded, is still, people are still watching and still, they are still commenting and yet this is another one. So guys, we've come to the end of this video and like I said, watch out for the, my other video. I'm going to put that out maybe tomorrow. I'm not so sure because I was going to put that out today and this is a breaking news which I thought I should share with you guys. So watch out for that video. So for those who are still applying for jobs to come to the UK, I wish you good luck and for those who are applying for schools and all of that i wish you good luck and i will see you in my next video guys just keep being positive and like i said prayers can change anything so just keep praying for the best we just want the best everybody wants the best we all want something that will work for everybody so until i see you guys in my next video you take care and have a lovely day bye bye for now